Okay, so this is problem 79 of chapter 7 of John Cleese 6 edition. So we have a block of mass, certain mass M, and uh, this block uh, slides down a certain incline. So this is our incline. The angle of this incline is given to us. And we have this little block of a certain mass M sliding down. And at the bottom, it strikes a bigger block. So I'll call this one uh, block with a big mass M. Okay. And after this collision, this one is initially at rest. So this initial big V is zero, while this one is initially moving with a certain speed V. Okay. And after this collision, these two blocks will now move. Okay. We want to know what is the speed of each one. So we want to know, the question of the problem initially is, what is the speed of the light one and what is the speed of the heavy one? Okay? Okay, so to solve this problem, I'm going to use conservation momentum. We are dealing with collision here. Another piece of information that is important is to know that this is an elastic, even though it's not explicitly written in the problem, this is an elastic head-on collision. So, I'm going to use conservation of momentum, m, small m, small v, plus big M, big V, equals to m, v prime, big M, big V prime. So this is just conservation of momentum. We also know that this is a head-on elastic collision, so I know that v, v prime small is equal to big V, big V prime. So this is conservation of elastic, of, of, of kinetic energy in a head-on collision. Very well. So with these two equations, I will be able to find the speed of these two blocks. How do I find that? Well, let's get rid of this one and this one because initially the big uh, block is not moving. From this second equation we can isolate the v prime, the final speed of the big object, and put it into the equation for conservation momentum. So we have m v small is equal to m v prime small plus big M and v plus v prime. So from this equation here, we are going to be able to find V prime. So the speed, the final speed of the light object. Once we have that, we can then find the speed of the heavy object. Okay, okay. so these are the two speeds. Um, let's work a little bit more to find what is this uh, V prime. Okay? So you see that the V prime uh, involves this big mass and the little mass, so I'll put little m plus big M equals to little m minus big M V. So you see that the final speed of the light object is small m minus big M V divided by small m plus big M. So this is telling us that the speed is negative. Yeah, so this speed is negative, so the object will move backwards. Okay? And uh, well, you will, from this equation, you have all the numbers, you will find a number for the speed, and you will also find a number for the speed of the big object. Okay, since this light one, the light block, is going to move back, the next question of the problem is, how far back up the incline the smaller mass will go? Okay, so after the collision, as we said, the small mass will move back, back up, and we want to know for uh, how much. Okay, so the unknown of this problem is this d that I'm writing here. What is the best way to find this D? Using conservation of energy, so we don't need to worry about frames and uh, vectors. So, what is the idea? Well, conservation of mechanical energy. The initial is equal to the final. 
initially this little box has only kinetic energy so it's one half of m v prime squared the v prime that we found above here and it has no potential energy it's at this uh, level here and i'm saying that this point is just zero okay so it has no potential energy it's going to go up until it stops until it reaches until it transforms all of this kinetic energy into potential energy. So the kinetic energy will be zero at the end. So this will be the final kinetic energy. While the potential energy, the gravitational potential energy, will be mgh. So you see that we are finding this height. With this conservation of uh, mechanical energy, we are finding this height. And this is not actually the question of the problem. What they want to know is how far above the incline we went. What is the d? So to find the d, we have to remember that they gave us the angle of this incline. And we know that sine of theta is equal to h divided by d. And from that, we can find that d is h divided by sine of theta. And now we have our answer.